Hello. In this video, we're going to be discussing the ferret or microfarad rating of your capacitor. Now, in the HVAC industry, we're typically dealing with microfarads, not ferrets. And you can find the microfarad rating on your capacitor right here up in the corner. It's going to be designated one of two different ways, depending on the brand of your capacitor. It may say UF or it may say MFD, but both of them represent the same thing as the microfarad rating of your capacitor. Some capacitors might have two microfarad ratings on them. For instance, this one says 35 plus 5 microfarad. So that would be a dual capacitor. And if you want to know more about dual capacitors versus single capacitors, you can check out our video on that. We've already established in our capacitor series here that a capacitor is nothing more than an electrical storage device. Think of it like a large warehouse that fills up and empties out very quickly. The question is, what are we storing in our warehouse? And the answer, of course, is electrons. We are filling our warehouse with electrons and emptying it out very quickly. How many electrons are in there? Well, one farad has 6.25 times 10 to the 18th power of electrons in it. Now, that's a lot of electrons. If you have a hard time grasping that, think of it this way. That's 6.25 billion, billion electrons. And if you still can't grasp that, just know it's a lot of electrons in your capacitor. Now, the HVAC industry, that's too many electrons for us. So typically, we are dealing with capacitors rated with microfarads as opposed to a farad. A microfarad is one one-thousandth of a farad. And most capacitors in the HVAC industry are going to be between 2 and 100 microfarad in rating size. So then the question we need to ask ourselves is when, when we are changing the capacitor, can we or should we change the microfarad rating? Now, if you're one of the type of people that think if a little's good, a lot is better, you'll be disappointed because the answer is no. Think of it this way. If you have a 30 microfarad capacitor and then you try to replace it with a 60 microfarad capacitor, you are effectively doubling the size of your warehouse. You are storing twice as many of the billions and billions of electrons that you are already storing. That might sound like an okay thing, but what happens is when the capacitor releases those electrons and they go to power your motor, you have now sent far too many electrons. And not only will it possibly not work, but you could damage the motor itself. It's kind of like sending 220 volts to a 110 volt motor. It's not going to work, and you're going to burn up your motor in the process. So I encourage you, leave the uh, microfarad rating up to the electrical engineers at the manufacturer who designed it. And if you shop at North America HVAC, that's not a problem because we have a, an extensive line of capacitors covering all microfarad ranges and voltage sizes. So you'll find whatever you need, no matter how much of an oddball capacitor you have. You can visit us at M, or NorthAmericaHVAC.com. And if, that's a, if you need help finding the capacitor for your situation, drop us an email at info at NorthAmericaHVAC.com. Be sure to include the part number that you're looking for, or if you don't have the part number, get the brand and model of the air conditioner or furnace that it came out of and send that to us. And one last way you can contact us, just go to our website and click on the live chat button at the top of the screen. It will connect you directly to an operator who will be more than happy to not only help you find the right capacitor, but send you a link directly to it so that you can purchase it. We thank you for the chance to earn your business, and good luck with your unit.